What's up? This is Squad2448. We're following Sunny to Sound Team Auto Review. Today, we'll be taking a look at a few Dodge trucks, a Ford, and we'll be taking a look at a variety of semi trucks, including Kenworth, Max, Internationals, and Freightliners. All the mods that we are taking a look at today were released by Rednecks Modding on Facebook, and I will have the link down below in the description. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a Dodge 3500 Dually. This is color changeable, and this is one very high quality done model. You guys can see nice looking wheels, awesome looking heads. Headlights. I really do like the chrome textures. As you come around to the side, you guys can see it does say Ram 3500 Cummins Turbo Diesel, which is pretty cool. I really do like the side step on it. That is a pretty cool feature. Toolbox in the back, and then when you do come around, you do have a bumper pull hitch, which is nice, and exhaust, and you do also have a gooseneck. We'll be hopping here on the inside. This truck goes 62 miles per hour. You guys can see that all of the lights do work on this. Take a look at those. That is pretty cool. We'll kind of pull the truck forward just a little bit. You guys can see working headlights and then on the inside view working mirrors and a working steering wheel pretty realistic dodge interior view for this model here we'll take this for a spin to see how this handles it is actually pretty low to the ground i might look into adding a lift kit on for some off-road hauling some cool things like this but i would like to thank the modder for releasing all of these epic mods these are pretty epic and i really do like featuring great mods here in my weekly mod reviews we'll be turning this uh dodge off and Next up, we'll be taking a look at a Dodge D250 Cummins. This is color changeable. There is an option for a plow mount, the top in the back, which is pretty cool. This is actually its own color changeable. That's another cool feature. I really do like the exhaust on it. I mean, this thing looks awesome. And there is an option for a beacon light up top, which is pretty cool. You guys can see great suspension exhaust. And you do have the option for the hitch. And it looks like it does have New York license plate. But you guys can see a ton of detail put in to this once we hop on the inside 62 miles per hour top speed one beacon light up top and you guys can see all of the lights do work even it has a license plate lights I mean that is pretty awesome and then in the front you guys can see that the plow does have working lights which is pretty cool on the inside view it does have a pretty realistic Dodge interior rear view very detailed no working mirrors and no working steering wheel but I really do like the inside of this and all of the mods we are taking a look at today are very high quality done and this thing really does get up and go I really do like how you have so many different options with all of these mods like we're saying this truck is color changeable along with that cap on the back is also color changeable which is pretty cool we'll be turning this off and up next we'll be taking a look at a Ford F650 hauler this thing looks pretty cool it is color changeable there's a few different engine options and I do have the beacon light package which is awesome as you guys can see this thing looks pretty cool bumper pull gooseneck hitch and I really do like the position of both those beacon lights and I I've been seeing a lot of trucks now with this bed, which is pretty cool. You guys can see very nicely done on the steps and very high quality, like I was saying earlier. And it's the F650 Super Duty Power Stroke. Looks to be like a 2017-2018 model year. All of the lights do work on this. Take a look at that. I mean, that thing looks pretty cool. Reverse lights, everything like that. Now, on the inside view, it is upside down, but you guys can see it is pretty detailed. Just have to kind of flip the camera and, I mean, this will work. Take a look at that. A very detailed dash, just like... Like we're saying we'll have to do a little bit of work there to flip that. We'll take this for a spin to see how this handles. It has some pretty nice engine sounds and overall the handling of this is pretty cool. It is color changeable and this turns pretty sharp which is also a very cool feature. Braking on the truck is nice, and I mean, it really does get you slowed down just in time, which is also a pretty cool bonus. Next up, we'll be taking a look at Kenworth T800B. This is a day cab. There's an option for beacon lights, and it is color changeable. Very high quality model. Gas tanks on either side. Take a look at these wheels. I mean, very nicely done on the wheels, and then you guys can see in the back, it does have lights. And I mean, this thing looks awesome. I really do like it a lot. Once we hop on the inside view, it goes 
62 miles per hour all of the lights do work on it now all the semi trucks we are taking a look at today do the option for an engine brake two beacon lights up top really do like the position of those and I mean take a look at everything this thing looks pretty cool on the inside view we, it does have a working steering wheel pretty nicely done there's a few things that do need a little touch ups here on the inside but overall this thing looks pretty cool we'll take this for a spin and I really do like day cab semis they are some pretty cool trucks especially ones that look this awesome like I was saying guys I will have the Facebook page linked down below in the comments and it is on the pin post all of these will be on that one pin post and that way I will not have to link each one but you guys can see great handling semi and I mean this thing really looks good while it does do the job so we'll definitely turn the beacon lights off we'll hop out of this and up next we'll be taking a look at another Kenworth this is a T8800 tandem there is a very similar one but this is very high quality it is color changeable two tone paint you get to choose from gas tanks and take a look at those wheels nicely done there and then in the back you guys can see Kenworth mud flaps overall this thing looks pretty cool and once again you do the option for those beacon lights we'll take a look at everything top seat is 62 miles per hour LED uh, lights on the back take a look at that that is pretty cool up front you guys can see all of the lights do work and then on the inside view working mirrors working steering wheel and working gauges we'll take this for a spin to see how this handles I will be looking into changing up the maps here for our weekly mod reviews. I will be changing to the brand new map I currently am building in. And that should be pretty exciting. And I can't wait for some more map building videos, everything like that. And I do appreciate all of the support here on these mod reviews. I do enjoy bringing you guys weekly reviews, showing you guys, and kind of having you guys uh, take a look at some awesome mods. Overall, this Kenworth did a great job, and I really do like this one a lot. Overall, great semi up next we'll be taking a look at a 1977 mac r semi this is pretty old but take a look at that guys two-tone paint this time around i do have it in dark blue in them black i really do like that a lot take a look at this interesting step which also is acting as a gas tank that is pretty creative here in the back you guys can see very nicely done mac trucks as mud flaps and once again a new york license plate which is awesome you guys can see it does have the beacon light package and I think that these are like the older style beacons which is pretty cool and I mean this thing just looks awesome once we hop on the inside 62 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this semi which is perfect and then up on you guys can see those do work which is pretty cool on the inside view uh, you guys can see very very detailed no working mirrors or steering wheel or gauges but I mean this is very high quality inside view really do like it a lot and I uh, will take this for a spin it does get up and go pretty slow but it is very realistic stake for a semi truck of this age and it is actually in very good condition for the age of it which is overall pretty cool you guys can see great handling even though it does go a little bit slower which is okay and it is very nicely done up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2006 Mac Pinnacle Day Cap, which is pretty cool. It does have the option for beacon lights, but I thought for this one, we won't add them. A very high quality model overall with the lights in the back, which is pretty cool. You guys can see everything with all those lines, and I mean, this thing overall looks awesome. And it is color changeable. We'll hop on the inside view. All of the lights do work on this, which is perfect. And I will actually be looking into changing up some of these mod reviews, having them test out different suspensions. On the inside view does have working steering wheel, pretty nice interior, looks like a few different things might need to be done but overall very nicely done and I really do like that back window for backing up and take a look at those seats, I mean that is pretty cool and it is manual like all of the semi trucks, we'll take this for a spin to see how this handles but wow really do like this one a lot and like I was saying I will be looking into kind of changing up these mod reviews, testing out the suspensions, everything like that over bumps, over different corners horses and hauling and I think that that will be a pretty cool thing to do so let me know if we should do that but you guys can see that this has some great handling and it looks pretty cool while doing it and it is also color changeable which I really do like up next we'll be taking a look at an international semi this is a S2600 I really do like this a lot I mean it does say international across the hood great looking one it, license plate of Virginia Virginia Next up, we'll be taking a look at an international S2600 semi-day cab. It does have a Virginia license plate. Really do like the chrome on it. It is 
color change wall and it is actually a pretty small compact day cap but I like it a lot LED lights here in the back and mud flaps which is perfect we'll hop here on the inside view we'll take a look at it top speed at 62 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this and it does like I was saying all of these do have engine brakes and it looks like you can actually see the engine through the uh, hood vents which is pretty cool on the inside view it does have a pretty nice uh, seating you guys can see awesome job and it might need a little bit more work but great great start to this epic mod we'll take this for a spin to see how this handles and it looks to be a very nice one good ground clearance as you guys can see and it is also color changeable I really do like that single exhaust I mean that is pretty cool the final semi we'll be taking a look at today is a 2011 Freightliner Sentry. This is color changeable, two different color options here for the fenders and then for the cab. I have it in dark green and black, which is pretty cool. Really do like the steps on it. Gas tank on that side and one exhaust, but take a look at this, guys. It does have lights in the back. Very nicely done. Take a look at the quality of this. I mean, you could definitely see the bolts. Awesome trucks overall today. We'll be hopping on the inside view. We go 62 miles per hour on the inside view it does have working steering wheel take a look at that dash very nicely done and pretty detailed seats which is pretty cool on the outside view we'll take a look at all of the different lights you guys can see great lights on it and it looks like this does have the same handling as all of the other trucks i hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review taking a look at all these different semis the f650 and those dodge trucks thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more